Hi guys, Mr. Kane here. How you doing? Hi guys, Mrs. Goswish. We got the band back together. Hey Mrs. G, is this our last video? Oh, this is the last video for the semester, yeah. Oh, I was going to say for this year. Oh, the same diff. Yeah, <laughs> okay. All right, so we're going to talk about strong electrolytes and weak electrolytes today. Might as well get the ball rolling, right? Okay, let's have at it. All right, strong electrolytes are salts that dissociate 100% into ions when they're placed in solution. Okay, so this is just a physical thing we're talking about right now. Yeah, it's just a physical thing. It means when a, when a salt is placed into a water, uh, it's going to turn into ions. And, and a strong electrolyte is one that's going to turn into 100% ions. Okay. This is different than dissolving. Okay, yeah, dissolving okay. and disassociation are two different things. Everything can really technically dissolve to some extent. Salts, Mr. Kane, that's all ionic compounds, correct? Yeah, matter of fact, we're going to be able to look at that... Uh, solubility rules because those are all salts. Okay, yep. And by looking at the solubility rules, we are going to be able to tell what salts are strong electrolytes and which mm. ones are weak electrolytes. So a strong electrolyte is one that dissociates a hundred percent. Kind of like potassium iodide here. Potassium iodide, when you place it in water, completely disassociates into potassium ions and iodide ions. Okay, so potassium iodide is a solid all salts are solid at room temperature, mm -hmm. and we're making an aqueous solution of potassium iodide. And when we throw the solid potassium iodide into the water, it will dissociate 100% into its potassium and iodide ions, just like you said. Right. There will be no potassium iodide solid in it at all, correct? Correct. Just the ions, yeah? Mm -hmm. when, you, when you toss a, a reasonable amount in, there won't okay. be any solid. Yeah, within yeah. reason, of course, everything can be... Yeah, you could, you could, uh, Oversaturated. You, you could have four mils of water and throw 20, mil, 20 yeah, uh, mils true, of yeah. uh, potassium iodide in. You're going to have solid. Well, let's see now. According to solubility rules, if I read the solubility rules correctly. It's soluble. Uh, yep, Potas it's soluble. Potassium is a, uh, is a group 1A element. Oh, that's right. So uh, it is definitely soluble. So if it's a soluble salt, it's going to be a strong electrolyte. Mm -hmm. If it's a strong electrolyte, it's a soluble salt. Correct. Now, weak electrolytes, you can kind of infer that they will not disassociate 100% into ions okay. in solution. So when you take lead iodide, for instance, and put it in water, it doesn't disassociate into the lead and the iodide ion. It stays solid as lead iodide. Okay, so it doesn't dissociate 100%, but it dissociates just a bit? It might Very disassociate little. just a bit, uh, but it's not going to dissociate 100%. That's the key there. Is yeah, the 100% 100, 100 the 100% is the key to this definition. Okay. Okay, and again, that's when you put reasonable amounts of the salt in. So we call we call uh, lead iodide a weak electrolyte. And according to solubility rules, it is insoluble. Right, and those two things go hand in hand. Anything that's insoluble is a weak electrolyte. Okay. Anything that's soluble is a strong electrolyte. Ooh, a movie. A movie, yep. <laughs> this is one where you can move things. Check this out, sodium chloride. Okay. So it's a salt shaker. Sodium chloride in water. Sodium chloride is a soluble salt, so it should be a strong electrolyte, and it should dissociate 100% into the sodium ions, and the chloride ions, and it does. And notice it did. When, when we shook it under the water, it disassociated. Matter of fact, if I could show this, we can pause it and we can show that sodium chloride makes a very nice crystalline structure. Sodium and chlorine, sodium and chlorine, sodium and chlorine, sodium and chlorine, sodium and chlorine. They're all bonded to each other. How's okay, that? Oh, so, all right. as a solid, they're bonded in a crystalline mm -hmm. structure. That's a solid coming out of that salt shaker. Got it. And when that solid hits the water, because sodium chloride is soluble, it dissolves completely. Uh, it disassociates completely. Okay, into the sodium ions and the chloride ions. And if you look carefully in the water, you will not see sodium chloride. You will only see sodium ions and chloride ions. I bet I could make some sodium chloride in the water. Okay, let's see. I have to put an unreasonable amount of salt in there. Let's see. Not yet. Oh man, Almost I thought I thought ions. that was going to do it. Here here, maybe in more, more in. maybe more would be unreasonable. Ah. Ah. Uh, uh, it's floating to the bottom. Yep. yep. There we go. There's Sinking to the bottom, not chunk. floating. Yep. There's a chunk down there. Sodium chloride down there. Yep. Oh, it's getting eaten away, Mr. King. Just oh. a little bit. Yeah, it, it kind of uh, it it's, it, it's dynamic. 
it seems to form and reform and Ooh. form and reform. I can make something resembling lead iodide here. It's a plus two charge yeah. in lead iodide. So here we go. We'll try this out. All right. So lead iodide. Hmm. hmm. Yep. I don't think that it disassociated 100%. Nope. Did not. Yeah. I mean, it disassociated a little bit. Look at those couple. A couple of ions are floating around. Yeah, but not much. But it's not definitely not like the sodium chloride. Yeah, that's not 100 percent. No way. Hmm. So it stays. It will not dissociate. Wow. That's pretty simple, huh? Yeah.